dear viewers assalamu alaikum today we will discuss that how we can determine the size of objects like uh, nanoparticles or the images we have through some analysis so for that one we need different software one of them uh, that we have is image j software so it is uh, freely downloadable and uh, i usually usually use this software to determine the size of uh, particles or uh, grains or some other particles like nanoparticles so i have opened now this software image j software it is and it has different options available so first of all I will show you that how we can open uh, the image so from here we can open a new file or we can open that we have already stored image like here we have an image in, in some folder uh, like here we have this uh, folder so i am going to take an image mm, okay so from here okay okay now this is our uh, image for uh, and uh, it is obtained from scanning electron microscopy and uh, it gives us uh, the particles and the power of this scanning electron microscopy is 20 kilovolt and it gives us a resolution of 20,000 x and uh, here is the uh, distance in micrometer from this line we can observe that from this point to this point we have one micrometer distance okay now if we want to uh, determine the size of these small particles like here we have these small ball like particles so if we can uh, i am showing you by zooming this one okay so in this way you can by clicking on the image after selecting this one we can zoom in this image and then we can scroll it like here okay so in this way we can uh, zoom our size of the image and then first of all uh, what we will do is here we have this uh, line selection so we can select uh, rectangular uh, objects or circular objects or different objects but here we we will first of all we will select the scale so from this line this point to this point we will analyze go to analyze and set scale so here we will set our scale the known distance uh, is let's suppose we have one micrometer or we can say that it is one and nanometer so here we will now we will write the unit here in nanometer if we are going to take in micrometer we can take here we have written 1000 and then nanometer so this length is from this point to this point is 1000 nanometer it means that it is one micrometer okay so we have set our scale now we will find the diameter of these particles like here we have this particle now we have these particles and we want to so 
we want to analyze the diameter so again select this line and now we will take this from this point to this point now it is our length our diameter for this particle now we can use this analyze and measure or directly we can use control M analyze particle analyze we have already set measurements okay now the length of this particle is 61.224 nanometer as we have selected the scale nanometer okay okay now for the next one like here we have drawn an arrow and uh, in our next video i will show you some other tools of this software like how we have made these arrows or pointing these to the particles so it will be in our next video okay now we are going to select this one so now we have selected this diameter of the particle again we will use control m i have pressed control m and now we have this another value which is almost equal 62.718 here is the angle if we are going to take straight line then it will be the angle will be zero so it will not give an angle or we can also set measurements and it will give some other values or so I, I, I am going to show you mm, okay now I am going to take uh, another particle like here from this point to this point okay control M so we got another reading of this value which is 73.58 and uh, again we I am going to take this and like here we have this particle if we are going if we, if we make like this one then it will make an angle if the line is not straight this way we can measure almost 10 20 or 30 we can take 10 20 or 30 readings and we can also take from top to bottom or from left to right for the same particle we can choose so in this way uh, we get these values now after this uh, we got these values which are the diameter in nanometer of uh, these nanoparticles now we can uh, copy or select all or we can copy this data and uh, we can open in an excel file and we can take average of all these directly Okay. Uh, either we can now I'm going to paste here and okay copy this data and paste okay we have this data from this one if we are going to take average of all these uh, we can uh, use function of average like here okay c1 to c5 now this is the average size of these particle which is 70.7976 now sometime uh, the reviewers are some uh, when we are going to submit our paper they say that uh, uh, also apply statistical analysis on your particle size or size distribution uh, 
for statistical analysis we will use uh, origin pro uh, which is another software and it gives us the statistics so we can apply we can make a histogram of our uh, size of the particles and then we can gas fit these values which gives us the average size of the particle with accuracy so here we have this origin pro before uh, this uh, i have also a lecture on youtube uh, to demonstrate the uh, how we can process how we can um, use this origin pro software so you can also watch that video which is available on youtube so here we will discuss that how we can proceed our data for statistical analysis so from here we will select uh, these values copy this one and then we are going to paste in the y column paste here and this is our average value so we are going to raise this value now uh, we are going to analyze this data plot go to plot statistical graphs and here we have an option of histogram so this is our histogram for our data and uh, after this we will take the bin worksheet so go to bin worksheet right click on here like here right click on the uh, on this graph and go to bin worksheet so here we have bin for data and uh, from this one from this is the bin centers and these are the counts on y-axis so we will take uh, these two columns and again we will plot this as a line plot so now we got this line plot and uh, for this line plot we will uh, again we will analyze the fit gaussian so here we will apply from go to go to analysis and from here we will go to fit gaussian tool and now we have fit gaussian so this is our fit gaussian tool we can uh, make it large okay so this will fit our values and here we get the results of our value so center is 58.319 so 58.319 is the average size of our particle and uh, with r square of 0 0.3114 because the uh, the data is very small so it is not giving the good results so r square value should be 0.7 or 0.8 or it is maximum up to 1 and uh, it will be good enough after 0 0.9 and from here if we look at here here is the xc value which is 58.31 so it gives us the value so i uh, i'm going to show you some other data from uh, that is good enough from this one so i'm going to show you like here we have already proceeded some data like uh, i'm going to show you so these are the previous uh, results so I will, I'm only going to show you that we have some uh, results I'm not going to save this data so like here okay if we look at here it gives us the value at the center is 72.949 with R square of 0 0.643 and here is the xc value which is the 72.94 which gives us the uh, size diameter of the particles and plus minus 3.2 which is the standard deviation uh, of these particles which is plus minus 3.2 and in this way we get these are uh, these results so 
we can uh, write here on the x-axis these are the bin centers or bin and on the uh, y column it, these are the counts and uh, we can make changes like we can bold these lines or we can make this like uh, these kind of things I've already uh, mentioned or in our previous video which is already uploaded related to origin pro so here we can change we can also change the font size from here we can also make it bold from here okay so like this so we can also change the uh, font like Arial from Arial to times new roman so here from here we can change the font style we can change color or we can scale we can change the tick minor ticks like I'm going to remove in this way we can make all these uh, changes in our graph and after that uh, we save it we will export this page so we can export this page we can save in jpg format or some other formats png or tiff format and in this way we will save our graph and we can also uh, use these details to represent our statistical analysis okay so in this way we find that uh, what will be the exact size of our particles uh, with the standard deviation and uh, also also the it also it will also give us our scale value and if we look at this data it is almost 20 so here if we look at the data it is almost 20 readings so the larger we have the values uh, number of uh, samples uh, we will have good r scale value and uh, in this way we get the uh, more accurate results for our samples okay so today we discussed that how we can measure the size of our particles from uh, image j software uh, and uh, we have set our scale and then we processed it uh, by taking the diameter of the particles like this one by selecting and then uh, we can take average on excel sheet or we can uh, we can also apply statistical analysis like gas fit by using different softwares and we have used this origin pro software to analyze our data okay thanks for watching my video we will come with another video in our next uh, video lecture so thank you allah